Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everybody, I hope you had a good weekend looking at gold on the daily weekly shorter term time frames. We still see a tightening range, a couple higher lows, a couple lower highs, and the gold bulls are seeing a very tightening range form. And if they cannot get over this 10 day moving average resistance in the 1258s and this 200 day moving average resistance right around 1263, we're going to see a move back to the 1240s and the recent lows. The bulls are looking for a bullish MACD cross. And here on stock charts, we're still a ways away from that. But on investing.com, we'll look at that level, and it's a lot closer to occurring. <clears throat> Weekly time frame, inside candlestick last week, tightening range. Break of 1266.80 is bullish. Break of 1246.90 is bearish. That's still a pretty wide range. So I'm going to be looking at the hourly time frame for some more clear indications. So here on the hourly, we have very clear higher lows from last week, Friday, higher lows forming and breaking some of the lower highs, but a very clear resistance at 1258. We have now rejected from that level the last four attempts on Friday and today on the hourly time frame. The bulls need 1258 as support, and they really need 1260 as support to progress this move to the upside. And here's that daily chart I was talking about on the verge of a bullish MACD cross and why I'm looking at this bullish MACD on investing.com rather than stock charts. Over the weekend, I did some more in-depth looking back at history on gold, and I went back six, seven years at every time the RSI dropped below 30. And it happened about 11 times, and every single time, well, I'll take that back, 10 out of 11 times that the RSI dropped below 30 and bounced, it did not reject once it got back to 30, which is where gold is right now. See, it bounced, and then we're back at 30. So the one time that it did bounce and reject from that level, it did end up pulling back and hitting lower lows, but then the bounce that progressed from those lower lows was 3.5% higher than the original low. So it did still bounce, it just had to hit another low before doing so. So my point is, 10 out of 11 times, we had a very bullish bounce off of an oversold RSI, and we did not reject from 30 after we got back to that level, we kept progressing higher, and the real bullish move was indicated by the bullish MACD. So scroll back and look at every time the bullish MACD crossed from an oversold RSI on the daily and look at the move that happened. There's one right there, big bull move. Here comes another one. There's the bullish MACD, big bull move. Another oversold RSI, bullish MACD, multiple weeks to the upside. And you get the idea. This happened 10 out of 11 times in the past seven years. So I'm looking for history to repeat itself, but I need to see the bulls get 1260 as support, get this bullish MACD cross going, and see this bounce continue to play out. Bull miners had a bull close today, getting over this 10-day moving average resistance. Not very convincingly, but after two rejections, Thursday and Friday, we did close above on both JNUG and NUGT. We're looking for bullish MACD crosses here as well. A little bit less meaningful as the history. If you look back, we don't have the same bullish reaction to MACD crosses as we do to the gold daily on oversold conditions, but NUGT right there as well. And we're going to be looking at the highs of last week, 1350, 1350 on NUGT and 1211 on JNUG. Those are going to be key levels if the bulls, bulls do show up. So previous history suggests a bounce is due for gold. And we just need to see the beginning stages of that with a break of 1258, a break of 1260, and the bullish MACD cross. So we'll keep an eye on that and see if it does end up following through. And a big red flag for the bulls would be a pullback and a loss of 1252 support. So we'll see how the trading goes overnight. I appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful night yourself.